First question that we have here is, Kate, what do you mean by wrong? What do you mean by things going wrong? Can you unpack this a little for us? Awesome. If you could bring up the first slide, please, Julia. So when we talk about um, things going wrong or things um, getting off track, we're really talking about anything from, well, this isn't turning out quite how I expected to through, right through to, oh my God, um, everybody off the boat, we hit an iceberg and we're all going to die. So it's very much a spectrum. And it's important to know where you are on this spectrum, how wrong things have gone, as it will help you to navigate your way through or out of the situation by identifying options and actions that are relevant to the context that you're in. So at the left side of the spectrum, which is the, well, this isn't turning out quite how I expected, um, you are likely to have more options available to you. We can be more proactive when we're on that side of the, uh, of the spectrum because we're better placed to identify and implement actions that are gonna prevent us from moving up the spectrum, spectrum towards the more crisis end. But on that right side of the spectrum, the, oh my God, we hit an iceberg side, we tend to be in crisis mode. And we're having to deal with the situation at hand to be reactive and be responsive. Now, of course, sometimes we're going to end up on the right side of the spectrum, the oh my God end, no matter what we do. But ideally, it's great if we can prevent ourselves getting to that by spotting where we are earlier on and taking actions that prevent us moving our way through. And my experience is that when things do go wrong, and things do go wrong, we know that, people often activate crisis mode. They go into that, that immediate situation. They go into crisis mode, regardless of the situation, which means they may be missing out on options that could resolve or address the situation or could prevent them, as I said, moving up. So I think when we're talking about things going wrong, it's really important to establish how wrong they've actually gone before we do anything else. And part of that process is being aware or alive to the signals and the red flags, and particularly the early, early warning signs. So if you could bring up the next slide, please, Julia. So Obviously, warning signs that things are getting off track, that they're going wrong, are going to be relevant to the particular context that you're in. But there are some general signs that we can be on the lookout, and I've popped them here. So when things, when we, you know, we know we get that kind of tingly feeling in the back of our neck, that sense of mm, a bit of doom is creeping in. Um, and for some of the signs, the early warning signs that we could look out for might be that we're behind schedule in our project or something that we're working on within our organisation. Things are starting to take longer um, than anticipated to get going. We're getting a lack of buy-in from our stakeholders, our staff, our volunteers, and perhaps our clients. We're getting requests for frequent, uh, re frequent requests for progress updates. People are getting nervous around us. That's as an indicator of that. And we might be struggling to get people to come along to meetings to actually engage with us around the, the uh, project or program or the organisational context. Moving a bit further up the spectrum, we might see things like failing to meet our milestones or our targets, over or under budget, and people often focus on being over budget as, as a red flag or an indicator, but under budget can be just as much an indicator because it, it suggests that you're not getting started or we haven't started spending the money that we should be spending. You might see signs of stakeholder or client or customer dissatisfaction or unhappiness. You may struggle to get, having struggled to get people to meet to meetings, you may find that you also get people just not showing up. And you might see higher than usual volunteer attrition or staff attrition or even turnover. And if we're moving up again, and that's getting towards the more crisis end of the spectrum, the oh my God, iceberg end, we can think that's when we're starting to think about things where we've really got no realistic expectation that our objectives are going to be reached. We may have lost our funding or our income streams. Uh, we may see stakeholder or partner withdrawal or key staff and volunteer withdrawal. And we'll also see people playing the blame game, which is where they're, they're, they're blaying off the, the reasons for it around them. So these are the sort of signs that, that it's a good idea that we can keep an eye out for if we're working on something. And ideally what we wanna do is intervene before we get to that, that crisis stage. So hopefully that unpacks wrong a bit. <laughs> 